Brothers and sisters, let me ask you guys a question, right? If one now decided to have a zina with his mother, and after having zina, he comes to realization that he has impregnated her. Doesn't stop there. He takes her life and then buries her in a place that nobody knows about. This is the first scenario. You have someone who used to look after his mother and he would massage her feet every single night. He was someone who would pray in the night and then fast in the day. However, when he went to Al Medina, he made dua to the Messenger Sallallahu just once. Oh Messenger of Allah, I'm going through all of these difficulties. Please ask Allah Azza wa Jal to help me. He's making dua to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or he's using the Messenger of Allah as an intermediary to Allah Jalla Fi Ula. Which one's worse? The first or the second? Second? This man, he impregnated his own mother and then killed her. And then he buried her in a location that nobody knows about. This person is better than the second who used to pray in the night and massage the feet of his mother? Yes. Brothers and sisters, if the second individual who prays in the night and fasts in the day and he massages the feet of his mother, passes away. Just having made dua once to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this person is 110 times worse than the first individual. According to many scholars of Islam, you can ask even the Prophet Sallallahu in the grave, this is Ibn Qudama. Just having made dua once to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this person is 110 times worse than the first individual. You want to open this door, well, let's be clear. They said you can ask the Prophet to ask Allah Azza wa Jal in the grave. You go to him and they base this on the verse in the Quran, right? Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala does not forgive shirk if you die upon it. It is not shirk. If you die upon shirk, brothers and sisters, you are not coming out of the hellfire. When does asking someone something become the type of dua that is shirki? According to many scholars of Islam, you can ask even the Prophet in the grave. This is Ibn Qudama. As Allah clearly and explicitly told us twice in the Quran. What I am saying is the default view of the vast majority of the Ummah. Uh, when a person says, oh, Yasa Qadi is saying that it is no longer shirk. Gently I say, actually, this is the position of every single Shaykh and Alim outside of that one movement that says it is shirk. Many of the ulama, in fact, this is the default of the position of the Deoband, the default of Nadwatul Ulama. Uh, this is the default of many Azhari Mashayikh as well. They say the same thing. W uh, summary of it is, when does asking someone something become the type of dua that is shirki? According to many scholars of Islam, you can ask even the Prophet in the grave, this is Ibn Qudama. You want to open this door, well, let's be clear. They said you can ask the Prophet to ask Allah Azza wa Jal in the grave. You go to him and they base this on the verse in the Quran, right? When you think that if I go to the Prophet's grave, I say, Ya Rasulullah, ask Allah to forgive me, right? So now you're asking him to ask Allah. I think this is wrong after his, uh, yani he's in the Qabr now. I think this is shirk. wrong. It is not shirk. Who, who controls the keys of Jannah? Who allows people into Jannah? Allah subhanahu Allah. wa ta'ala. Does anybody share this privilege with Allah? No, no. no. Okay. Hadith is in Sahih Muslim. Rafi' the mawla of the Prophet when the Prophet said, what do you want? What did he say? As'aluka murafaqataka fil jannah. As'aluka anta. As'aluka murafaqataka fil jannah. Did Rafi' think that the keys to jannah belong to the he Prophet should, He should say, as'alullah murafaqataka fil jannah. To say it is shirk has repercussions. And it has dangerous repercussions. I go into these repercussions. When Ibn Abdul Wahhab, and I respect him as a person, when he went down this road, he had to make takfir of the rest of the entire ummah. And that's what he did. And he said, the Ottoman Empire is worse than the Quraysh of Mecca. And everybody who agrees to the Khilafah of the Ottoman Empire becomes a kafir, murtad, halal ad -dam. And he began killing people. And he considered the Imams of the Haram to be kufar, murtaddun, and, and, and. So it's a very dangerous position. When you say the person is committing shirk, and you make takfir of the bulk of the ummah, you are opening up a can of worms.